Hello there again, minions. It's Wheezy. You may be able to tell from my voice that I'm recovering from stupid, irritating throat stuff, but I've been playing some Modern Warfare 3 off and on lately, and I figured I'd jump back and talk about the new map, Greece, in Modern Warfare 3. Take you through a gameplay. Uh, this is a game of hardpoint. I thought it was a good competitive game. We'll talk about a bunch of this stuff, but hopefully you guys just come along for the ride. Me using the Rival 9, and let's just talk some Modern Warfare 3 while we watch some hopefully entertaining gameplay. So the first thing that I'll touch on is go ahead related to the gameplay. I'm trying to figure out what kind of content I want to make. Mm, that should have been a kill. I want to make in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, over the last couple of Call of Duty games, the main thing I've been doing is capturing good streaks that I go in or good clips. And then when I want to put together a video, it's like, how do I take that and put it into something interesting, whether it's a breakdown for a particular weapon. But here's where the complexity comes from versus where my channel started. I used to take good games and post those, especially if I was playing games with my friends and we were talking and having fun. Um, but with SBMM, or more specifically, Engagement Optimized Matchmaking, EOMM, in Call of Duty and basically every online multiplayer game for the past 10 years basically it seems um you don't really get many of those gameplays where it's just like here's me doing well for an entire game <clears throat> so instead of that i've been trying to start uh identifying games where i thought it was a good game so the way eomm works is essentially it tries to keep you engaged with the game by feeding you wins and losses so sometimes it'll you know, put you in a lobby with a bunch of people where you have a shitty team and the other team's good so that you'll lose. And then sometimes it puts you on a good team against shitty teams so that they know that you'll win. And they do that to try and guarantee this balance of wins and losses because they think that'll keep you optimally engaged in the game. You'll spend more money on microtransactions. We'll talk about all that in more depth in a different video. But because of that, only once in a while does it actually throw you in a game where it's relatively balanced across the two teams, and you can actually get a, a decently competitive game. But when those happen, and it actually feels like, hey, my contribution to this game actually mattered, uh, I started to try and identify some of those games. Hopefully they'll be entertaining to watch. This is one of those games where, starting out here, we're actually trailing a bit on this hardpoint game. And whether it's because I get a decently balanced team and it's a competitive game, or I get put on a crap team, but I'm able to do things to help us win, uh, hopefully that'll be entertaining. We'll play around with this idea, see how it goes, but yeah, in in that vein here, Greece is the new season one map. Um, there's a, I think there's a gunfight map and, and uh, meat is the smaller map, but Greece is the new, I would call it normal sized uh, 6v6 map. And previously in Modern Warfare 2, uh, Basically, all of the DLC, the seasonal maps for multiplayer, were absolute garbage. Like, literally shitty maps that were so bad that I didn't even want to play them. When they would come up, I would leave. So I kind of expected that to happen in Modern Warfare 3 as well, for whatever reason. Um, most of the core maps... Uh, well, let's say that. All of the core maps, obviously, in Modern Warfare 3 are Modern Warfare 2 maps, so there really hasn't been any opportunity for them to show whether or not they're good at map design because these maps were designed in 2009. They were designed forever ago, and honestly, they were pretty good back then. Um, they mostly hold up now, um, so it's been it's been fun. But Greece is an all-new map, brand new for Call of Duty, and I have to say, it is fantastic. Matter of fact, instantly, this has become one of my all-time favorite Call of Duty maps, I think, because it has not only the classic three-lane map design that is really so great in Call of Duty, um, 6v6 at least, um, it has inclusion of water, which gives you some additional kind of escape and flanking routes, but at the same time, they're not critical. In fact, in this game, you'll probably not see me jump in the water at all, um, because unlike uh, Zarqua Hydro, which in Modern Warfare 2019... Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, that was in Modern Warfare 2. In Modern Warfare 2 was my favorite map for Modern Warfare 2, mainly because you got to use the water or needed to use the water really heavily to be effective on that map. Um, this, that's not the case. You don't need to use the water. It gives you some nice options. But in general, this is just a solid 
three lane map. Uh, they did uh, shortly after season one release. They didn't do it right at release. They did, you know, a shipment slash meat playlist 24 seven. Uh, but shortly after that, probably the week after, they did a Grease 24-7 playlist, which is what this came from. Uh, I played just several hours of just m m different game modes on Grease and just had an absolute blast. I love this map. So yeah, so I pulled out uh, this gameplay from that, uh, a good hardpoint game. And yeah, just a fantastic map. Absolutely love it. So uh, in general, with Modern Warfare 3, I've really been enjoying it. Oh, a little outnumbered there. Um... <clears throat> As I mentioned in a previous video, I have been surprised at how quickly the game has started to feel a little stale, a little repetitive. I mean, these are... I don't know how I did... I must have just ran past that guy. I even, like, did a double take. I wasn't sure I saw that guy. I played so much Modern Warfare 2 back in 2009 that I spent a ton of time on these Modern Warfare 2 maps. And even though the vast majority of them are really good maps... I thought that going back and playing on them in Modern Warfare 3 would be really entertaining, which it has been. I've really loved it. But I didn't expect it to get old kind of as quickly as it has been. Because it's like, oh, I've already played these maps 87 times. Um, which is not really a criticism necessarily of the game. Especially, stick that guy with the drill charge. Um, especially if they continue to put out maps like this where they add new maps that are great. Um, could be really fantastic. Um, but so far, I'm actually really still loving Modern Warfare 3, even though I am not playing it uh, nearly as much, although one of the main reasons for that is that I've been playing other games lately. Gran Turismo 7 has really pulled me back in quite a bit. Um, Forza, not so much recently, since I've been playing more... When I'm feeling in the mood to race, Gran Turismo has been more fun for me. Um, and I've also been trying to catch up on some of the single-player games I still haven't finished out. Um... This ACS is still a great tool. If you're running an objective game mode like Domination or Hardpoint, you really need to be running the ACS. It's such a cool field upgrade. Um, but yeah, trying to catch up on like Assassin's Creed Mirage, um, which I haven't finished. Even Hogwarts Legacy, I never finished. Um, and it is, I've been playing a ton of it uh, over the last week or so because it is really just a ton of fun. So as I'm getting through some of my backlog, um, those have kind of been taken priority over the, like I said, kind of somewhat stale feeling Modern Warfare 3 just because of the Modern Warfare 2 maps being such, you know, a core part of that. But all of that aside, Modern Warfare 3 is a fantastic Call of Duty. It's, it's probably still a little too early to tell how it stacks up compared to my opinion of Modern Warfare 2019, which in my opinion is uh, the best Call of Duty in the series as far as, you know, multiplayer goes at least. Um, I would say right now, the chances are looking really good that Modern Warfare 3 is exactly what I really wanted Modern Warfare 2 to be, which is a better version of Modern Warfare 2019. Um, and even the other wish that I had, which is a remake of the original Modern Warfare 2 from 2009 in the modern Call of Duty engine with the modern Call of Duty movement. And Modern Warfare 3 is that. It's all of the Modern Warfare 2 maps with the modern movement, with new perks, with new weapons, with drill charges, my favorite piece of equipment from Modern Warfare 2, and now they added the ACS, my favorite field upgrade um, probably ever in a Call of Duty game, the ultimate PTFO uh, objective. Although, for those of you who didn't know, as a side note, the ACS also will hack equipment if you throw it near it too, in case you've got it on as a field upgrade, not in a domination or hardpoint mode, if you just play against the enemy team and they've got you know, Claymores or Bouncing Betty's, the ACS will actually hack those for you. So just a really cool field upgrade. Modern Warfare 3, I just think, is a fantastic game. They've done a lot of good work with weapon balance, I think. I know that there were I had concerns with that in the beta and early on. Um, the weapons feel like they're in a really good spot right now. My initial concerns were valid. The one-hit kill weapons, like shotguns at close range, um... Marksman rifles to a lesser extent, if you can get headshots. Um, and sniper rifles, for sure, are very powerful in this game. Because of the longer time to kill, those things really stand out if you can use them. Um, they haven't been so bad that I felt really uh, like they've really taken away or really ruined the game or anything like that. Sometimes they get irritating when I'm like putting seven shots in a guy 
and then I get one tapped by his sniper. Um, <clears throat> shotguns in general are fun to use because up close they can be a one hit kill, but they are in general not good weapons because their range is extremely short. Um, which is part of the reason I have a lot of fun with them because they're very much off meta and you can have a lot of fun, especially if you do like use like a uh, um, like an overkill kit where you have like an AR uh, as your second primary with a shotgun. Um, can be kind of a fun combo. But yeah, there's just a lot of combinations in Modern Warfare 3 that are fun to use. A lot of different loadouts with different vests and combinations of weapons that I enjoy. There isn't that kind of one set of perks like this one class that I use for everything and just swap out the weapon um, that that may be truer closer to the type of weapon so like my sniper loadout is pretty consistent my primary assault rifle loadout is pretty consistent my shotgun loadout is pretty consistent but those are pretty different from each other um, in a way that puts a lot of variety in the gameplay so it's been a lot of fun I've really been enjoying Modern Warfare 3 um, and honestly, the fact that I haven't been playing it a ton has also been kind of nice, because even though it's been kind of um, less engaging for me to just go back and play over and over and over and over and over again, when I do have sessions, they tend to be two, three, four hour sessions where I have fun pretty much the entire time, which is great. And uh, also, since I haven't been grinding it as much, I am nowhere near <laughs> maxing out all of the weapons yet, so... Um, every time I jump on the game, I've got something kind of new to use, something interesting to use, and something new to try. Um, so yeah, overall just a lot of fun. Um, here you can see I've been playing the objective with the, that ACS pretty hard, um, but it's still a close game, so this has been a fun competitive game. Even though I'm not getting gigantic kill streaks, you know, all of those, what, you, what I would typically, or people in general, you know, in the earlier YouTube days, uh, of Call of Duty you would think of as a post-worthy gameplay. For me, it used to be um, my rule of thumb for whether a game is worth posting is I had to get at least 30 kills or more and usually uh, five or fewer deaths. So 30 and five or better was my baseline for games worth posting. With EOMM these days, that is almost impossible to get unless you just play super campy and douchey or just only play the super meta weapons and that's just not how I have fun playing the game that's not how I want to play so playing with a variety of weapons playing to win the objective playing competitively like the way I enjoy playing um, <clears throat> it is very rare for me to get a, the kind of game where I get 30 plus kills and fewer than 10 deaths um, a game like this is a lot more common where I may get a couple of good streaks or even some just some good plays mixed in but I think this game ends up something like 38 and 30 or something like that, but with a lot of time on the hard point. So um, I find these games really fun, and I'm hopefully by being able to kind of post them and share some hopefully entertaining gameplay, like what's going to happen? Are we going to win? Are we going to lose? You know, um, maybe there will be a little bit more interest there. Just in general, there has not been a lot of interest around Call of Duty videos lately. Um, which I totally understand. Because, um, you know, what's there to get excited about about these deadlock games that are mostly controlled not by your skill, but by the game's matchmaking. But there we go. Wrapping it up, defending the last point to pull out a close victory on that one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching a competitive game, listening to my horse voice chatter for a bit. How do you guys feel about Modern Warfare 3 right now? You guys having fun? You playing it a lot? How do you think it stacks up compared to Modern Warfare 2 or, or recent Call of Duty games? You enjoying it? 38, 30, two and a half minutes on the hard point, seven defends. If you guys are new around here, I'm going to uh, subscribe to stick around and see new stuff. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you hated it, if my voice irritated the shit out of you. <laughs> uh, otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one.